what are the odds? What are the odds that it took me an entire commercial break to try to get this earring back on? And I'm having no success. There you have it. We keep it real around here. Thank you, Tam Fam. So today we are talking to people who've overcome the odds. And for my next guest, their story is about as dramatic as they come. Let me set the scene here for you, Tam Fam. Lean on in here. So just last month, Erica and Devon Thomas were excited to welcome their first baby into the world with their birth plan all set with the doctors and the hospital. Then a, another mother, Mother Nature, had other plans. Take a look. We were all totally packed. My wife had her to go bag ready. We had the babies to go bag ready. Her room was all nice and set up and everything. Devon and Erica Thomas felt completely prepared for the birth of their first child. We thought we were prepared as much as we totally could be, but God had different plans for us. This blizzard is the one for the ages. Certainly it is the blizzard of the century. It was the biggest snowstorm to hit Buffalo in a generation. And for Devon and Erica, it couldn't have happened at a worse time. I started feeling the minor contraction 10 o'clock that night, and then it got really bad about 8.30 that morning. Snowed in, and with contractions coming on fast, Erica became increasingly concerned. I told Devon, I said, it's time. I was like, you have to call the 911 right now and get someone out here to help us. But with time running out, it soon became clear no one was going to reach them. After all those contractions really hit, I knew that this was happening at home. It left Devon facing the challenge of his life. I just said to myself, somehow, some way, I have to do this. And it was like just tunnel vision through the whole process. Just thinking about the main goal, just delivering my baby safely. Tam Fam, please welcome new parents, Eric and Devon Thomas, and baby Devin with them. <laughs> OK. Uh, Erica, I was not prepared for this cuteness on TV. Is Devin sleeping? She is sleeping. She, I, I, <laughs> hope, I hope it's not because my show is boring. I don't want to. <laughs> 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 Look at Oh, my God. No. We, we wanted to have you in studio, but because it's a new baby and the winter and all that, but I'm so happy y'all were able to join us. Um, Devon, let me start with you because I would normally say Erica did all the work because she gave birth, but man, you stepped up. You stepped up. <laughs> yeah, definitely so, did. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yes. So, okay, so you're in the blizzard. This, we're all watching the blizzard from home. Our hearts were going out to Buffalo, and we heard all of these stories of, you know, elderly people not being able to get help, people being stranded. It was a deadly blizzard. So here you are reaching out. Was it on Facebook, looking for people who could help you? Uh, yeah, basically, um, I was uh, talking to a friend of mine. He's a, a sheriff here in uh, Buffalo, New York, for uh, Erie County. His name is Jeter Neville. He uh, was trying to find someone that could uh, get us to the hospital. And he also uh, helped me reach out to the two doulas that uh, talked me through the whole birthing process. Did you had? So you already had your plan, Erica. Doulas were not a part of your birthing plan, right? No, not at all. It was just supposed to just go to the hospital and just give birth there. OK, Erica, let me just, because this is live. I'm going to tell you, you do not hold that baby like a first time mom. You're like, you got her. You're like, I'm going to switch shoulders. <laughs> I'm going to do this. I don't think, my son is four and I'm not that comfortable holding him. Like, so shout out to first time moms who know what they're doing, right? Jeez. Uh, um, so you go on Facebook and you start reaching out to people. And as I understand, two complete strangers came to your aid and said, okay, we're gonna walk you through this. How, I, don't, I don't know how you were, I would've been like, ma'am, can't you get here? But they couldn't, they couldn't get there. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, usually, you know, I'm pretty good with uh, handling adversity and, like, very, like, nerve-wracking situations that most people just mentally can't get through. So, yeah, through the grace of God and the uh, two doulas, I made it through, and my baby was delivered successfully. Yes, I mean, so... 
I mean, sir, you've got ne nerves of steel. Ramonda Reynolds and Iva Blackburn were the two who connected with you on video Facebook Messenger. They talk you through it. I've seen movies. I've never been, I've seen one delivery, mine. And it was not, it was terrifying. So there you are, Erica. You're in the hands of two people on video call and your husband who says he has nerves of steel. We don't know this because he's never delivered a baby before. So what, were, what, what are you thinking? Like, what are the odds my husband is delivering this baby? It, it really didn't hit me until I was crowning that this was happening at home. Oh. I think during the contractions, I was hoping and praying for someone to come and help us. That someone, like somebody's gonna get here. Like we, we, it's not, and I didn't know how long it was gonna take either, so. So she was crowning how long, I, ooh. I mean, how long, <laughs> I just had a whole visual. Okay, so the baby is crowning. How long had your contractions been going on in total, you think? Since the day before that Friday, they were like about two o'clock. Like I remember just, I was, that was my last day of work. I was working until the last day yeah. from home. And I just told my boss, I was like, I can't work anymore. I'm like, I'm having really bad cramps. And I kind of, you know, kind of going through the pain. I, I'm still- It was thinking, mild, but it wasn't just, you know, crazy, but- It's mild, but you're trapped at home in a epic storm of a century. That is the part yes. that is so <laughs> unbelievable and no one can get in to help you. Well, coming up, we're gonna meet one of the doulas who came and helped via video conference call. Wait until you hear what happened to her on the other end of that call after the break. Welcome back. We are talking about defying the odds. And Erica and Devon were trapped at home because of last month's historic and deadly blizzard when Erica went into labor. But they found two local doulas who virtually coached them through the delivery of their baby, Devin, safe and healthy. And one of the women who came to the video rescue is here in studio with the Tan fam. Please welcome doula Ramonda Reynolds. So, Ramonda, we heard Devon basically say he has nerves of steel. He's Superman. <laughs> what did you see on that video call? He was sweating like he was in the Sahara. <laughs> he, I said, whoo, just sweat coming down just his sweat face. Coming down. Yes, yes. I mean, you, you. <laughs> so you are a doula. You've been a doula for how, six years? Five, five, year, five, five years. Five years. Yes. Um, Devin makes your 14th baby. Yes. And I, I, I you know, what made you want to be a doula? I've worked with children my whole life. I had a daycare at home and it just kind of evolved naturally. I was a newborn photographer and then um, it just kind of evolved. evolved from there. Yeah. So you're a certified doula and under normal conditions, you help families, as you said, prepare for healthy labor delivery yes. uh, with a medical professional, a midwife or a doctor's present. Yes. So that's why you call for backup, which is the doula Iva. Iva. Iva Blackburn. So you're yes. like, we got to get backup on video calls. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it's extraordinary. How did you, how did the tag team there work? Because you're on video. Yeah, we're on video. I had Devon call me on um, Facebook Messenger video and, um, I could hear mom, she was in pain and she was screaming a little snappy a little bit. Oh. And so. <laughs> Erica, so, they're telling all your business out here. <laughs> right. So um, my good friend, Iva Blackburn is a doula, but she's also an LPN. Oh, and wow. so I said, maybe I said, it's okay if I add her to the call. And um, so have you ever met? In I have not. You've never met in person. Never met in person. Oh my God. And, and what about Iva? Um, she hasn't either. She hasn't either. No. Okay, this, I mean, it is an exceptional thing that, that you can have this bond and bring this beautiful baby into the world. Mm -hmm. um, I got, well, let's see here. Let me see what I can do with the magic of television. Erica and Devon, we wanted to give you something special because I, I first of all, I, I wanted a daughter. I ended up with a son that I love, but man, when I saw Devin, I was like, I want to get her something. I could not make it out of the studio. I know someone who could. We have another camera. Somebody's coming through the door. You've never met her before, but she knows you more intimately than anybody else. Iva the doula who teamed up for Ramonda in your house. The best delivery person I could have asked for. Hey, Iva! Hi, beautiful! All right. <laughs> So, Iva, you've never met. We're all trying to get this together. And since the baby was delivered through technology, I figured why not try it this way? 
<laughs> Iva, how does it feel to see this beautiful baby you helped bring in the world? Absolutely. Somebody's calling. <laughs> it's, it's Thank God they didn't call when y'all were trying to deliver hard. the baby. Right. Um, <laughs> he is absolutely beautiful. This is your whole family calling now saying, is this live? Family, it's live. Please stop calling. I'm trying to hear the story. <laughs> 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 the whole family saw it. Okay, you have, you brought a little gift for, uh, from my store where I buy all my son's clothing, Little Red Planet. It's here in New York. Can you open yes. up some of the <laughs> things there? You can you tear it open. She's got her hands here. full. Since mom's hands are full. Go ahead. <laughs> so, um, Erica, I, I love this shop. All of their clothing, organic and sustainable. And I just dream of seeing little Devin in my arms dressed in these clothes because I want a little uh, daughter so bad. <laughs> um, but, you know, we just love this what are the odds moment. A couple of things that are on my mind. First of all, doulas and what you do no, for families it. and how you... <laughs> I was like, open this gift. It's from right. Cameron Hall. It's expensive. <laughs> Listen, we got you a snow snoot because y'all got plenty of snow. <laughs> 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 And there are a couple of little, I got her a little hat. And I got her a couple of little outfits in there. I'm telling you, I yes. went crazy, Erica. My mother always says, thank goodness I didn't have a daughter because I would be broke. Because I went thank in, I'm you. just like getting everything. So, you know, a couple of things. First of all, the resilience of love and how you were there together and what was a horrifying situation. Shout out to you um, as a couple, as a family. And then also to our doulas. You know, we've been talking a lot about you know, birthing of children. And it is not, this is a, it's a dangerous situation. It is. And you were in a dangerous situation and that you two women who represent black women who are doulas yes. is very powerful. Yes. Very, very powerful. So, you know, I'm so happy. Congratulations. This baby has slept through Thank this you. entire Thank show. You. Right. <laughs> I love you all, and please be well. And when the snow finally too. melts love in too. Buffalo love in June, too. come and visit us. <laughs> all and our thoughts and prayers are still with everybody in Buffalo in that area. We know so much has happened there lately. Thank you to the family, the Thomas family, Ramonda, Iva. Thank you.